Okay, um, in this video I'm going to do some of the AP, AB calculus free response questions. And the first question here, um, I basically have it written down. It says, consider the equation x squared minus 2xy plus 4y squared equals 64. Um, and then there's three parts, A, B, and C. Part A that I'm going to do in this video is to write an expression for the slope of the curve at um, any given point. So basically, we have to find um, a formula for the slope of the tangent line. Okay. Well, really what, what we want to find is we want to find dy dx, or y prime, simply a formula for that. So the only thing in this case that you have to remember is we're going to be taking um, the derivative with respect to x. Our x's and y's are all mixed up, so we have to use implicit differentiation in this problem. Okay, so. If I take the derivative with respect to x on the left side, I'm going to get 2x minus 2. And now um, I like to think about the, the original xy as being in parentheses. And then I'm going to take the derivative of that stuff using the product rule. So the derivative of x would be 1, leave the y alone, plus the derivative, uh, excuse me, uh, let's leave the x alone. The derivative of y is 1 uh, y prime or dy dx. I prefer to use dy dx simply because my y primes end up looking like y's to the first power, and then I just end up making a mistake. So then the derivative of 4y squared will simply be 8y dy dx. And the derivative of 64 on the right, that's a constant, that's just 0. So at this point, we just need to um, solve for dy dx. So I'm going to put all my dy dx's on one side. First, I'm going to distribute everything out. Um, I'll get negative 2y. It looks like I'll get a minus 2x dy dx plus 8y. Ugh. Broke my equal sign a little too early. OK, so 8y dy dx. And that's going to equal 0. So I'm going to put everything that has a dy dx attached to it on one side of the equation and then simply factor it out. Um, so maybe I'll leave my 2x minus 2y on the left side. If I add on the right side, I'll get 2x dy dx. And then I'll get negative 8y dy dx. Simply factor out the dy dx um, on the right hand side. So dy over dx, it says that's 2x minus 8y. And now we can simply divide both sides to get our, um, our solution here. So it says dy over dx is going to be 2x minus 2y divided by 2x minus 8y. And certainly we could factor a 2 out of the numerator and the denominator, cancel it out leave us with x minus y, and then x minus 4y. OK, so I think that would be our solution for the first part. OK, so key ideas to remember, implicit differentiation, um, trying to solve for dy dx. So uh, use your rules, tack on dy dx, multiply everything out, put all your dy dx's on one side of the equation, factor your dy dx out, divide by what's left, and reduce. OK, so all right, this is part A. Um, I'm going to do part B and C in separate videos. So um, feel free to post comments, questions, and feel free to take a look at the other ones as well.